Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl B. It has been a hot minute since I posted a video here on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, I did film a whole bunch of content during the summer. Um, but my MacBook Air is technically vintage now, so it no longer does what it needs to do. So I needed to upgrade and your girl just moved out, so I didn't have so much coins to use to buy a new MacBook. But I had ended up getting one recently, which is why I'm filming this video for you guys. And I'm able to edit and post on YouTube, so that gives me a lot of joy internally, as much as I'm not expressing it too much here. Um, I. I, like you guys can see in the title below this video is about transitional outfits um, taking some of your summer favorite pieces and making them fall appropriate or so being able to wear them during the fall um, we've been having some warmer days and then really cold nights so I think this is definitely appropriate to give you guys some sort of idea on how to style and pair some of your outfits um, and make it just appropriate for the colder nights that we're experiencing um, if you haven't subscribed, please click the red button below. Um, other than that, let's get straight to it. So first we have here is a satin silk skirt. Typically in the summer, I would have paired something like this with a racerback tank and some slides. Here I am transitioning that particular outfit by adding some combat boots, some Nike socks, as well as a faux leather jacket. In the second outfit, I'm wearing one of my favorite dresses of all time. This is a maxi silk dress, works beautifully for layering. Here I've taken a dress I would have worn with some flats or sneakers this past summer with a jean jacket of course and transitioned it with a long cardigan, snake print booties and a fedora. In this next outfit, I have my go-to favorite pieces from Zara, one being the denim short skirt as well as the racer back tank. I have transitioned this particular summer outfit into fall appropriate by simply adding a jacket. It's almost like a shirt and a jacket together and some sneak print booties as well as some white frill socks. Completely adorable. In this outfit, here I'm wearing a wrap on floral dress. I love the asymmetrical bottom half of this dress. I would have worn this with some lace up heels this past summer. By simply adding a faux leather jacket and some knee high suede boots, I've made this one of my favorite fall outfits to date. The different textures in this outfit really brings much more to this look.
This next dress was in fact my birthday dress. It's flowy, it's girly, and it screams summer. I wore this dress with a bucket purse and some white sandals. I've given this dress another look by adding some combat boots and an olive green suede biker jacket to make it completely wearable this fall. In this outfit, I am wearing a ribbed sleeveless dress. I would have worn this in the evening during the summer to a nice dinner or out with the girls. I am really a heels girl, so I definitely would have opted for some slides. I've made this dress completely fine to wear this fall season by adding an olive green suede trench coat and some brown suede slouchy boots. that completes the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said if you haven't subscribed you need to down below let me know what you guys thought about the video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye